Sunday in New York, the Rangers against the Yankees. Rubber game of this three-game set. The rubber game of this nine-game homestand for the Yankees. Marcus Stroman will be taking the mound. He'll be doing so on eight days rest. They're working on some mechanical things out in the bullpen. Let's see if they show up today. It'll be Josh Smith DHing. Ground it sharply to first. LeMayu lost it. The throw to first. They got him. Wow. Boom. Wow. That's about as close as you can be. No challenge for the Rangers. That'll bring up Corey Seager. That one is lined down the right field line. It's a base hit. One hop up against the wall, played nicely by Soto. He's going to fire to second. Seager's going for two. He's in there with a double. I think he got him. Now they might they might challenge this. Right there, he's out. Yeah, really good job by Volpe to lunge. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Great job by Soto getting the ball in and an excellent play by Volpe. Well, the Yankees have the close plays going their way in the early going. Ball four, he just missed outside. So Simeon takes the two out free ticket and Josh Young is coming up next. On this pitch, broken bat, one hopper to Volpe over to second in time and the Yanks get out of the first unscathed. Andrew Heaney is the starter for the Rangers. Haney coming off his best start of the year against Houston where he went six innings. Had only one walk, four strikeouts on 80 pitches. Verdugo leads it off for the Yanks. Squib, left side, fielded by Young. Throw the first, and the throw gets past low. And Verdugo will reach. That'll be an E5. Josh decides to throw it on the run, and it is not an accurate throw. So here's Juan Soto. He was one for seven in the doubleheader yesterday. Fly ball deep center, backing up Tavares. He makes the play on the track as Verdugo heads back to first. And here is Aaron Judge. Lined into center field. That's a base hit. Verdugo will go to third. Tavares will flip the ball into second. Another base hit for Judge, who was three for seven in the doubleheader yesterday. Give Stanton an opportunity to hit a sack fly and get you in. High drive into left center field. Tavares is there. He'll make the play. Tagging for Dugo. Judge goes halfway. Now hustling back to first. It's a sack fly for Stanton. It's a 1 0 Yankee lead. A good at bat by Stanton. Got the job done. It's always important to get ahead early. And Langford is out number one. And that brings up Nathaniel Lowe. The 1 2. Strike three. Low down looking. That's the second walk of the game now for Strom. So it gives Tavares a chance. That one served right at Chisholm. Makes a catch on the outfield grass for the final out. All right, Glaber Torres to lead it off here for New York. Yankees are up one to nothing. There's a swinging strikeout of Torres. So two away brings up the shortstop Anthony Volpe. Volpe's had trouble with the strikeout this year, and he strikes out here in the second. So that's two Ks in the inning. Andrew Heaney with a perfect second. So two quick outs for Heaney, and that'll bring up Soto. High fly ball, deep right. Garcia back. Turning, looking. I see this sidearm supposed to fool him a little bit, bro, but he got it up. And Juan Soto is so good at covering that high pitch, even away from a lefty. He really uses his backside and just drives through the ball. Man, it looks easy when you're that good. <laughs> well, happy Schmidt. He's feeling better. And we've seen his handshake an awful lot this year. You got it down yet? Here's Judge. Aaron Judge laces a line drive right back into center field. Another single for Aaron Judge, another hit. For Aaron Judge. Stanton on first with the walk, and now Austin Wells. And now the one strike pinch. And that's hit on the ground to third. Young is up with it. Looks to second, turns, throws to first, and Wells is retired for the final out in the inning. Nathaniel Lowe now, the first baseman for the Rangers up with a man on. This could be a double play. There's one, and there's two. Anthony Volpe gets Marcus Stroman and the Yankees out of it. So two hits to start the fifth. The Yankees at first and third. The big guns coming up. Heaney against Soto. And this one lined to first, caught by Lowe, and he's got a double play. Wow, what a break for the Rangers. Nathaniel showing a little bit of hops right there. Robbie Juan Soto of an extra base hit. And they intentionally walk Judge. They'd rather face Stanton than Judge. And it's not going to be Heaney facing Stanton. I mean, Jose Leclerc takes over for the left-hander. Leclerc with a 5-4 and four record and an ERA of 4.35. Now he's facing Giancarlo Stanton. The 2-2. Two -two. That's a bullet to left field. See ya. Oh, and he crushed that ball. A three-run home run. It is 5-0 Yanks. 
So Stan now has 13 20 more home run seasons with this swing and that's the most of any active player. These are the type of hits when you walk Aaron Judge and it ends up with a three run homer. These are what you need if you're Aaron Boone and the Yankees somebody behind Aaron Judge with the ability to do that like Big G. Yeah that stops intentional walks. Wow. Stroman walks the leadoff hitter. He had a one two three inning in the fifth. Not so lucky here in the sixth. Corey had the base hit in the first flew out to center field in the third inning. Runner goes a three two pitch that's ripped down into right field base hit. Smith heading to third base. Beasley wants him to go all the way home. Here comes Smith. It's a double for Seager and the Rangers are on the board. It's five to one. Yeah you want Corey Seager swinging that shillelagh. Looks like it was a little two seamer on the outside part of the plate as Josh Smith is moving on the pitch. He rips it down that right field line for a double this time. Break open their scoring right here in the sixth inning. Looking at Marcus Stroman I mean he has kept them off the board to this point. A lot of ground balls. A trip to the mound by Aaron Boone. He'll probably take Stroman with him. After eight days between starts and a lot of work on the side, Stroman puts together a good one. He leaves with a 5 1 lead and a runner at second base. He gets a nice hand from the crowd. Jake Cousins takes over for Marcus Stroman. Runner at second, nobody out. Number three hitter in the lineup, Marcus Simeon, 3 2. Swing and a miss. Slider out of the zone. Big out. And now we got first and third for Wyatt Langford. Strike three. What an at bat. I mean, just three nasty sliders. The third one actually is the only strike. This ball just dotted the outside corner. Boy, what an at bat. Got him. Swing him. Three strikeouts in the inning, and Cousins does his job. Only one run across the board for the Rangers. Second and third now for DJ LeMayhew. Boy, he could get a big hit now, get two RBIs out of him. Let's see what we got. Fly ball right field toward the line. Garcia makes the catch. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He's in there safe. A sack fly for LeMayu as Chisholm moves to third at 6 1 Yanks. A little bobble at third, and Chisholm maybe opens the door for something here for the Rangers. The bases are loaded on the butt single by Josh Smith. That's just brilliant. Bases are now loaded for the Texas Rangers. No no not for the Texas Rangers for Corey Seager. Check the swing did he go. Yes he did. Seager can't believe it. He goes down on strikes. Boy, it's a big break right here. It did look like he went. Simeon now. Grounded. To third and booted by Chisholm. That's going to allow two runs to score. So an E5 allows two runs to score and it's 6-3 Yankees. Chisholm doing his best in this series to keep the Rangers hopes alive. This time Chisholm just kind of nonchalantly coming over to get this ground ball to his left. Boy that is a huge two out error. You know, Soto's 25 years old. He had a home run in the third inning, and that home run, a home run that gives him home runs against all 30 teams in baseball at the age of 25. And he's got another one. Oh, does he have another one? See ya! A monster shot! A moonshot! And the Yankees lead 7 3. Yeah, you see the smile, you see the handshake, but boy. You'll never get tired of seeing this swing. Juan Soto off a tough lefty. We've talked about how good he is against left handed pitching. Well, it didn't take long to figure it out here. 30th home run of the year. Here's Judge. High drive. Right center. Garcia back. Track. Wall. See ya. A home run for Judge. Back to back. Soto and Judge. And it is 8 3. Yankees. 42nd home run of the year, 299th home run of his career. I was just wait for the handshake, Michael. We having some fun now. I mean, they're ridiculous. This 2 3 combo, I mean, you cannot get tired of watching these guys come to the plate. Daniel Lowe now steps to the plate. Lighter Jr. now. That ball's hit well. And it's carrying way out toward the bleachers, and it is gone. Lowe with a solo shot to right. Not ready to give in yet his 10th home run of the year. Yeah, Nathaniel Lowe had been talking about trying to get back on track as far as driving the baseball out of the ballpark. And he does it right here. A little split finger down and in. And he just golfs this one. And it makes it 8 to 4. And he walks Tavares with two outs. Carson Kelly's two for three days, got two singles, scored a run. There's a swing. That ball's tattoo. Deep out to left. And gone. Carson Kelly. 
with a massive two run homer. And how about it now. It is a two run game in the Bronx. And now Carson Kelly jumps in on the action as he hits a two run home run out to left to get the Rangers in striking distance. And this one's getting too close for comfort for the Yanks. It's 8 6. So two straight walks with two outs. And that brings up a very dangerous Adolis Garcia. Clay Holmes trying to convert a four out save. A season high pitch count of 36. And Garcia bloops it out to center field. That drops. Base hit. A run is in. Duran to third. And the tying run is 90 feet away. Amazing. Adolis Garcia with his seventh hit of the series here in New York. Oh, my. It has come to this here in the Bronx. Ninth inning, second and third, two outs, 3 2 count on Tavares. 44 pitches for the closer Holmes. And the payoff. Ground ball. Glaber Torres will field. Goes to his knee. Fires. And they hold on. Take a breath. Yankees win 8 7. All said and done, huge offensive day for the Yankees and a big win.